Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing to show with you guys. But it's not just any unboxing, it's the Going Gear EDC Club unboxing. I'll link this down below, you guys can check it out. They have a budget box and they have a premium box. It's totally up to you. Thanks so much to my generous patrons who are supporting me. There's a link for Patreon down below, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Thanks to Going Gear for sending this to me. I've been having these sent for a bit now. They're always different. Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not so great, right? I just kind of like to organically react to them. Um, just to clear up any confusion, uh, confusion, no, they do not send people like me really good boxes and then just send random stuff to everybody else. If you ordered for May, you will get this exact same stuff as me. If you sign up for it now and you order for June, I have no idea what's in June. But they not every box is random, but the boxes are the same for everybody within the month. Does that make sense? Just want to make sure that that's clear. Let's go ahead and get in here. So what's the deal with these? Like you just pay a monthly fee and then they send you random stuff? Yeah, that's exactly right. They're for some people and not for others, right? The nice thing is, is if it's not for you, you just don't have to worry about it. But... <laughs> <laughs> on many more than one occasion, I have opened these up and gone, holy crap, this was a good month, right? So it's one of those things. Uh, some people will see, I'm just going to cut into the side of this, sorry. I, I just, I'm sure there's like a better way to get into this. So the tip keeps getting caught on something there. I'm sure there's a better way, but I'm just not, I'm just impatient. Um, there have been some awesome exclusives and some super nice stuff sometimes. Right, and it just depends on what they, obviously it depends on what they put in there. All right. Uh, why did I dump those out? <laughs> what is wrong with me? Okay, one, two, three. We got three things in here. One, two, three. Okay, so we have an ace beam. I'll let you pause that and read if you want to. Something from Stat Gear, and we have a Wii knife. Oh, it says the Wii. Oh, really? So this must be the premium package. We'll go ahead and open up that first. I know exactly what this is. And yeah, this is a good knife. This is a knife that I have already reviewed on this channel, and one that I have said is a good knife, right? It's also a pretty good price considering what Wii normally charges for a premium. This is not the budget one, guys. This is a premium CPM 20 CV in titanium elementum. There we go. Just let you read it. Uh, titanium and CPM 20 CV, right? It looks just like the cheap one, except it is the more expensive one. So that's kind of neat. It's one of the better priced knives in Wii's line at $175. Of course, you don't need to spend $175 to get a good knife. You can obviously get it for, you can literally get this exact knife for less money in lesser materials. So I shouldn't say the exact knife. The lesser materials, same design. So what do they use? 9CR, they use D2. I can't remember what they use. Um, but steel liners, and then you've got a bunch of different, um, I think they do like a steel frame lock version. They do a liner lock version, whatever you want. This is all, this is pretty good, right? It's, it's a good design. It's nothing, nothing spectacular, but the price on it is pretty good. See, like that's, that's an example of like, if I'm gonna, you know, you're gonna, if you're gonna fork over the money for the more premium box, cause it does cost more money, getting something like that, cause that knife right there, <laughs> that knife costs almost as much as, the box itself, I think, I can't remember what the actual price on the box is. You can, I'll link it down below. Um, let's see here. Stit Slinger? The Slinger. This is the Slinger. Oh, okay. We got a little tiny, little tiny guy, right? Um, steel frame lock. Oh, it's manual. <laughs> I thought for sure it would be assisted. Who makes this? So, well, oh, okay. Stat gear, of course. This tough and very compact fl flipper is a great addition to any EDC collection. The Slinger has black stainless steel handles and a black finish D2 steel clip point blade. All right. I don't know if it's a $50 knife, right? But it's a little manual D2 blade, right? Um, man, I really thought the days of, like, you have to carry this tip down were over. And I also have to laugh because the pocket clip is literally... A Almost the same length as the knife itself. This looks like a knife that would have come out in like 2008. But okay, right? I don't know if it's a $50 knife, but if they had said it's a $30 knife, I'd have been like, eh, okay. 
Uh, so, all right, that's fine. Not super pumped about the. the I like the Wii. The, not super pumped about that one, but whatever. Now we got. A, I'm pretty sure we got a flash light. A Rider RX. So I'm reading at the same time. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, it's kind of. That's kind of a shiny boy. I like the finish on this. Look at that. Ooh. ooh. It's kind of cool. Oh, we probably need to. Um, Let's find out how it comes apart. <laughs> you turn it. Oh, did I do it? What's this? What kind of... <gasps> Is it... What are you? That's the thing for the lens. Hold on. We're close. <laughs> Why did it transform? <laughs> it's going to start beeping. <laughs> Self-destruct in five. <laughs> how do you... cut? Hold on. I don't want to read the instructions. Ace Beam, Rider RX, stainless steel, color will vary in parentheses. 44 bucks. 44 bucks for that. Uh, the Ace Beam Rider RX is a pocket-sized EDC flashlight that has a maximum output of 650 lumens. I'm okay with that. 650 lumens for 44 bucks, and it looks cool, and it's doing, so I don't know why it's transforming, but it looks pretty cool. Um, the Rider RX includes a 14500 or, yeah, I guess it's a USB-C rechargeable battery. That's cool. But it's compatible with Alkaline and NIMH. Sorry, I'm not a flashlight guy. Uh, batteries. This light also has an incredibly addictive fidget factor with a bolt-action opening. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and closing. The bolt-action allows for the light to be able to tail stand for hands-free use. Okay. Okay, all right. I still want to know how to turn it on. Um, <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> so this is like, all this stuff is available standalone. Like you can go to their web, I'll link their website down below. You can go to, as I'm touching this, the finish is kind of changing to this copper. This is a cool, uh, the finish is cool. I, I'm, I'm, I'm into the finish. I just really want to know how to turn it on. I uh, usually there's like the little thing and the, uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, there we go. You have to bolt action it. Get that out of there, and then we'll get this. We'll get that little guy out. There we go. And we're going to get this guy back. Oh, he's ready to go. Sorry. Let's... Absolutely ready to... Oops. <laughs> How to flashlight with metal complex. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty powerful little light. Okay, neat. So the idea here is that you want to turn it on and you want to tail stand it. Then you can do that. Hey, I'm, I'm okay. This is a good one. This was a good box. I'm going to keep this. <laughs> Usually I, <laughs> I'll get the, this stuff will probably be giveaway stuff, right? Or Patreon stuff. Sometimes I do special things on Patreon, right? I have to kind of divide up the free gear that I get between the channel and Patreon, right? But uh, I kind of want to keep this. I kind of think that's kind of neat. Yeah, that's kind of a neat flashlight. I like that. I always like these two because then you can put it on the bill of your cap, which I'm wearing right now. I'm going to test it out. Here, hold on. Uh, yeah, okay. Pretty good. Pretty good. That'll work. Here we go. Um... Yeah, I like the flashlight and that so the the flashlight and the knife alone are easily would easily have been worth the money. And then you get a little bonus thing. I'd say that's fairly typical of the box. You probably get at least one thing that you love, right? Sometimes two. If you're real lucky, you might get three or four items that you love, right? But there's gonna be some times where it's just not gonna be your favorite thing. Uh somebody made mention there was another box program out there that kind of allowed you to skip uh, months that were not, you know, um, in your favor. And I, I, I honestly think that's kind of a good idea. And I'm not trying to tell Going Gear how to do their thing. But I would imagine that more people would be willing to subscribe to it if, you know, they saw like what the boxes contained month in and month out. And then they could decide like, yeah, I want that or no, I don't right? Maybe that would hurt sales. Maybe that would help. 
I kind of think it's a neat idea. I think in the beginning, you know, obviously in order to make that work for going gear, they would need to have a lot of people subscribe to it. And at that point you're thinking, well, why not just buy the things, right? Well, because the box allows you to, for the maximum price of the box, sometimes, and in, in, in fact, what they say is, even if it's not exactly the stuff you want, the total value of the items individually will be more than the value of the box. So by allowing you to choose the boxes that you skip and the boxes that you keep, obviously you'd have to know what was in them first before you decided to do that. In some situations, you could only end up with boxes that are number one, full of items that are more valuable than the total cost of the box, and number two, are actually items that you want. Might be kind of a neat idea, but I can understand, again, in order for that to work, the amount of volume that Going Gear would need would be massive. Right, so I'm kind of hoping this is working out for them and they can eventually do something like that because I think that would be really cool. And it would make people feel a lot better about, you know, doing stuff like this. This is a good box. That's This is a good box. I'm happy with this one. I love the USB rechargeable and the different battery things. And that's really neat. I haven't decided, all, I, I really do want to keep that flashlight, but maybe I will give away. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thanks to Going Gear once again for sending this stuff in uh, for me to share with everybody. Make sure that you're subscribed and make sure you check out my live streams because that's generally when I give stuff away. Uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody. And have a great day.